Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to utilize an old router to extend your Wi-Fi network. So you may be a situation where you may have certain areas of your home where you don't really get much of a Wi-Fi signal and the signal just keeps dropping out. So it'd be good to have something like, I guess, a Wi-Fi extender um, or some sort of repeater there. So um, this is a cheaper alternative to that issue. So this is an old router we've got um, previously from Virgin Media. And if you actually look on the back of it, you've got four ethernet ports and one input ethernet port. So years ago, um, some of these routers, you'd have a separate modem, uh, which had an RJ45 connector coming in and it'd plug straight into that. So slightly different for the newer ones these days, it's coax going in for Virgin, but these are quite good because then you'd have uh, an existing ethernet connector from your existing router uh, in your house, plugging straight into that, and you could have other points coming off that. So first of all, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reset it. So looking at the back, um, put the power in, and there's a small button just here. I can just show you just there. If I hold on to it for a few seconds. So internally, it everything just should be reset. Okay, that's that. I'll also just plug, unplug it and plug it in again. Okay, so next thing you're gonna need is an ethernet cable, like so. so I've got a spare one here, this blue cable here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna plug one end into the router. For this particular router, I'm gonna plug it into here, the actual network side of it. So that's one end, and the other end, I'm gonna just plug into my laptop, which is just there. So let me just plug that in. Okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna to go to our, our laptop. Let me just position the camera so you can clearly see what I'm doing. So first thing we want to do, we want to actually connect to this, this router. So if I open up a command prompt, you can do this by going to the run prompt and typing in CMD. And then you'll see this command prompt. Click that and then you'll have a command prompt window appear like so. So first of all, um, Let's check to see if we've got an IP address. Okay, we have. So that's the IP address of the actual router. And that is the address being given to my laptop. So next thing, I'm going to open up a web browser. And let me just briefly show the bottom of the router if I can. So if I show it at this angle. So what you'll see there, routerlogin.net, username is virgin, password is password. So let's look for that. So let's start with edge. Okay, so router, router login. Okay, so we're on the router now and we should look at a couple of settings on here. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. For this particular type of router, it's quite easy. So when it gets to its first initial screen, you've got internet IP address, get dynamically from ISP. So this is the actual input you've got on the router. So if I look here, if I show you here, it's just that one there, the yellow port. So if I, Grab a live internet connection. This is off my existing router in the house. And I've plugged it into there. If I click off, click back on hopefully. Let's, let's just go to there. Give it a minute or so. If I look on the front of the router. You see the lights? I think that's sort of initializing. Okay, so I left it for a while and it's gone to green now. 
so that's a positive sign and if I show on screen here uh, it's showing it's got internet access if I try and go back onto the router there you go it's picked up an IP address of my live uh, my current live uh, router in the house so that's a good sign so now from this particular router I should have internet access now so if I just go Google for example there you go so that's working that's great so in one respect you could leave as is now so no issues there um, you can use it as another hotspot so all you've got to do is literally get a long enough Ethernet cable running from your router to another room and just plug it straight into here yeah and that's up and running now you'll have two separate IP addresses um, so if I show you something here now so let me put the camera back on its stand so my test network here is slightly different it's got 172 on there so if I go to LAN setup you'll see the IP addresses being given out by this router start with 192. So there is another way of uh, configuring this as well. So if you look at your bog standard sort of router you'd get, um, which isn't sort of configured like this, where you have to put an ethernet cable in for internet connectivity, you'd be in a situation where you don't have it. So I'll pull that out just to show you. So you'd literally just have that and you'd have either a coax going in there, a coax like um, a, that's used by Virgin Media, or you'd have like one of those um, ADSL uh, filter things plugged in at one end on, on the telephone going into here. So I think it's an RJ11 connector. So when you have one of those routers, you wouldn't have that obviously. What you'd do, you'd connect to your router first which is this, just connect the laptop to it. You find the dialogue on the router that says, use router as DHCP server. Now that's the service that provides an IP address to devices on your network. Now, if you've already got a router, you don't want two separate systems giving out IP addresses. So all you do, you untick that. Next thing you've got to do, your IP addressing scheme on your network, you've just got to give it a fixed IP address. So this is the IP address of your actual router. So I'm going to go for an addressing scheme similar to what I have at the moment. So if I go for LAN setup, 2, 16, uh, 0, let's pick something else, let's put 1. Uh, one one. Okay, that should be saving it. I'm guessing. Let's click back on there. See what happens. Has it saved it? Oh, it's updating settings. Yep, so we've got the setting saved there, so that's good. So at this moment, we don't have any internet connectivity. So that's because this router doesn't have anything given an IP address. So let's plug this in now and give it the internet connectivity. If I switch back to here, show lights are flashing away if you see their connectivities come back let's do router login oh hang on let's do it off the IP address I gave actually 172 there you go there's the connectivity to the router again. So now what we have, the router has this address. 
it shouldn't be using that. Let's untick that and just apply it again. Okay, that should be fine. Just let it restart. Do a quick test on this as well, actually. Yeah, so that's working. We'll just try to connect back onto the router just to show. There you go, back on there. So let's go back onto LAN setup. It's not ticked, use a uh, router as DHCP server, so that's good. Um, router has this address, and now we should have. Um, another sort of Wi-Fi hotspot set up here. So let me just have a quick check of the Wi-Fi settings. There you go. So there should be a network now available called um, test. So let me just quickly jump onto here. And there you go, test. Okay, there you go then. Very simple to do. You can reutilize obviously any old routers you have. Uh, when you change provider, they leave these things behind. A lot of the time they don't really ask for them back. Some, some do, a lot of them don't. So very good use to get another hotspot in your house. Uh, very cheaply, to be honest. So obviously this has cost me nothing now because it's just been sitting around the house and I can just position this in another room, plug an ethernet cable in, which has internet access. This doesn't have to be plugged in anymore. The main thing is this and I've got a hotspot now. So I can just demonstrate one more time. There you go, there's the test network. You can just jump on there and connect it and look at the signal strength, it's on full. So just put it in an area where it's a sort of dead spot and there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of a cheap solution to extending your sort of Wi-Fi network in the house. Thanks for viewing. And don't forget to like and subscribe.